Today we're going to show you how to change the radiant flame sensor on your dryer. It's a pretty easy job. All we're going to need is a putty knife, 5 16 nut driver, small flat blade screwdriver, quarter inch drive ratchet with a quarter inch socket, and maybe a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. The first step to this repair will be to disconnect the power supply to the appliance. There's a plug on it, simply remove the plug from the socket. If it's hardwired, we'll need to disconnect the breaker. And this repair will be to lift the main top, which is held in place with two spring clips, one on each side of the door. The putty knife, we'll just slide that in. Press the spring clip, hold the top up just temporarily. Tilt the top back and lean it up against the wall. Next, we're going to remove two wire wire harness for the door switch. Lift the edge of that connector so that the locking tab will slide out. And there are two 5 16 screws that secure the top of the front panel to the cabinet. Remove those. We tilt the front panel forward and we'll lift up gently on either side. We'll unhook it from the two catches that are located on the bottom side. And we can remove the front panel. Next step will be to remove the two wires to the moisture sensor. And we're going to remove the two bottom screws for the bulkhead, both 5 16 hex head screws. two screws at the bottom of the air inlet duct. And we'll loosen the two top ones. We have a keyhole slot on those top two screws, so we should be able to lift up on the bulkhead. And release it from those two screws. And there are drum rollers on the front of this model, so we'll have to disengage those from the drum. And just remove and set the front bulkhead aside. Now we have access to the component. Now this particular model, the burner assembly is located over on the left hand side here. And the radiant sensor located on the side of the burner tube. It's a little snug to get at that quarter inch screw, but it can be done with a small ratchet and a quarter inch socket. Uh, if you wish, you could release the belt from the idler and lift the whole drum out of the way to give yourself some more access. But I think we can get that right through the side here. To remove the single screw. There's a tab on the bottom of that radiant sensor. So we disengage that from the burner tube. Pull the whole assembly forward. Disconnect these two wires. It may be snug enough that you need a pair of pliers on. Our new radiant sensor. Connect two wires to it. We 
there's a tab on the bottom of that radiant sensor that engages in a small slot on the side of the burner tube. Make sure it protrudes fully into the burner tube. Now with our quarter inch screw our socket, we'll start that screw by hand. Once we've got it started, we'll take our ratchet and we'll tighten it up. On our ratchet, we snug that screw up good and tight. Verify that our two wires are still connected to the sensor. And now we're ready to put the bulkhead back on. Now to reinstall the bulkhead, we want to make sure that the lower lip, that air inlet, sits inside the base of the frame first. Next, we're going to want to lift up on the drum so that we can get the roller wheels in underneath. Lift the whole assembly up. We can engage that keyhole slot at the top corners. Now, make sure that the felt is not folded over anywhere. And the drum rollers are sitting where they should be. Install the other two screws on the front of the bulkhead. Tighten the top two. And install the two on the air inlet. And as this model has a moisture sensor, we'll reconnect the two wires to that. And now we're ready to put the front panel on. Now to reinstall the front panel, we want to make sure that these two rectangular holes line up the two catches on the front. Make sure they engage fully. Next, we will replace two screws that hold the front panel to the cabinet. And remember to reconnect the door switch harness. Sure the locking tab holds it in place. We're ready to put the main top down. We'll make sure that these two spring clips engage the two hooks at the top of the front panel. Open the door slightly. And our repair is complete.